Hello, good evening again. This is LB and I want to uh, share to you my experience in my life when I came here in America, okay? The first few months that I was here. Okay, the second month, I, I remember, okay? But this is the act of kindness that's really good, okay? We enrolled my daughter. This is almost that was we came here about September. It's October. It's the end of October, two thousand and one. You remember when uh, September eleven happened? That was we were here for two weeks at that time. Okay, so what happened is that when I enrolled her, so it's a new school. It's a different thing for us, and in the Philippines. Um, I think we have, see, my daughter is in a private school, so they have a bus to pick him, pick her up. So what happened is that, uh, we went to the enrollment. We don't know that they have a specific time that the bus will pass by, but of course, and it's my first, uh, week wherein I'm gonna help her to go to school. And we have uh, only one car, okay? We were sitting down in the... <laughs> In the front of the house, wherein we have uh, three level of steps, we were sitting there waiting for the bus, and we were trying to memorize uh, some some um, spelling. Okay, we were trying to familiarize from from familiarize her in the spelling. Okay, and some are uh, multiplication. So we were learning at the same time. We were waiting. After a few minutes. Maybe we were there sitting 20 minutes. We did not see the bus at all. It's almost 7.30 already. And our neighbor across the street came across that to the house. And she said, oh, are you waiting for the bus? I said, oh, yeah. We've been sitting here for a while. Oh, no, but the bus already passed. They came about 6.30. I said, oh, my God. I was thinking, how am I going to take my daughter to the bus? I was thinking, is it far when we walk? And then the lady said, no, uh, it's okay. I will I will take your daughter. And then for me, I just was like looking at her. Like, I think she was able to sense it that I'm not entrusting my daughter to her. First thing is that I don't know her. We were neighbors, but we were there only for a few weeks. So, but she's good. She's really good enough to offer me offer my daughter a ride so i was looking at her and then i said okay uh, she said okay i'll take you both and then um I'll, I'll bring you home back here so we went to the school um took my daughter and then in my mind that oh it's really nice to have that kind of na neighbor wherein she knows we are new here you know and she helps and that's really good guys really nice very seldom you see those kind of people i know there's still a lot of kind-hearted people here in america and but the next week okay the next week um i went to uh, one of the store my husband dropped me off and we were standing we were in uh, one of the store here home depot uh, food depot and we were standing in the parking uh, in the area where the, you know you come in from the door there's a glass door and we were just standing there and then after that we went out and we were standing and there's a lot of ladies two ladies okay in the car now when i look at them she suddenly shouted at me i was wondering what's going on she said oh why are you looking at me you why are you looking at me I said, no, I'm not looking at you, okay? And then, I don't want you looking at me. Don't stare at me. I was thinking, I'm not even staring at you. I was wondering, oh, I was looking for my husband. I was watching for the car. You know, when you, you have a tendency, when you're looking at something, people thinking that you are looking at them. But I am not looking at them. But then she was shouting. She started starting to get mad. So in order for us to avoid any altercation, anything you know, bad things to happen, we went back inside. Um, I just told to the lady inside that I think the lady, thinking that 
just looking at I'm looking at them but I'm not looking at them and then we came out again they're not there anymore but the thing is guys if somebody looking at you you don't need to get mad maybe they, you, they're looking at you because you're pretty or you have something special look that's the way I understand things okay because you don't want you don't want to be getting in trouble just because somebody's staring at you for me when I told my daughter one time mom they call me um different I said okay that's fine they look at you they say to you that you look different that's fine because nobody else in this world look the same um I told her that be happy if you look different it means you're special okay we are are created by God different from each other so yeah we just need to um be nicer we need to be kind to other people because we don't know what are they uh, going through right sometimes you, you see them smiling but deep inside there's something going on so when you can treat people nicer better and it's better to do that okay because those um, experiences that we uh, encounter in our life, we don't forget those. It will always make, um, it will always, always linger in our brain. It will always be there. That is either will help you out to understand how people behave, and you understand more about yourself. You will discover that you oh I'm I'm a nice person too. Because if you can be able to treat those people nice and you don't need to react bad, you're a good person. Just keep in your mind and in your heart that how we treat people, is that's the way they're going to treat you too. So no matter how much they look at you, just smile, smile. Nobody can take that out, the joy that's coming from your heart emanating from your heart you're gonna always be the kind of person that they want to be with okay some some friends of yours they normally just call you and notice you right because yo oh, i like to be with um susan or anna or whatever your name because of your attitude okay be nice to other people no matter what because because at the end of the day you don't meet that person again or if you meet that person again, at least they remember you for being a good person. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day.